uh, in NA it is actually already live, but we are not playing on NA. So these will not be active here, but we're just taking a look at them together to see what is going to change tomorrow. And uh, these are the heroes that are going to receive changes. So today it's just a few bug fixes and balance changes. Nothing uh, about the actual mechanics of the game. Uh, no new content yet. This is one of their smaller patches where they tweak the numbers. They have two styles of patches. And these heroes are going to get changed. Gaul is going to get a little bit of extra damage on Shadow Flame. Just a few small buffs. Increase movement speed duration. Increase. Double back will do more PvE damage. Oh, that's a good wave clear talent. Bakery from yeah. Team Dignitas. Already thought this was the best one. So now it should probably unreservedly be the best one in his opinion. And also can use Heroic in the uh, 10 second Undying Gaul Psychotic Break with the level 20. Brackros, oh, they've re, -add they've re -added that back? Yes. Uh, they, yeah, because it got removed in the last patch, right? Maybe it was a bug. Yeah, which I thought was kind of okay because uh, with the old Trogal, and I expect even more now so because of the extra damage you can get from Gull, you could basically just, as Trogal at level 20, just rush for the enemy core and just in get hard engage onto it. And even when you died, Gull would just hit his heroic and just blow it up. But what I don't know is if it still resets the cooldown. Because before it did... It, so, that might be a good point. Because it doesn't say so. So before you could double Shadow Bolt volley. Yeah. And now maybe not. <laughs> Ragnaros is going to get a 4.5% damage nerf to his basic attack. And Power Sulfurus and a 20 second nerf on his Sephora smash cooldown and finally the resilient flame will get a five second nerf on how often it can be used and also a 10 percent armor nerf i think it's deserved changes he is the best melee assassin right now he's good at literally everything and he gets small nerfs on damage a decent nerf on cooldowns and i think it is in the right place and let's see how it pans out tychus has been pushed to a shorter auto attack and overkill range uh, with his role being really anti-warrior, is how Blizzard envisioned it. But he has seen very little play since. They're going to buff his minigun. Standard extra damage to max health by 5%. Or you could say by 20%, depending on how you see it. Anyway, half a percent. Uh, not 5, sorry, 0.5. But anyway, 20% uh, buff on the minigun effect. And the bigger they are, will lose 5%. So, give some more talent diversity at 4, while do... Well, they do nerf the bigger they are, and generally just a bit better with uh, with minigun. Varian uh, has Varian still only gets played with taunt, and so the changes here maybe you can explain them. Uh, the changes here are going um, to kind of balance out his three heroics. Uh, let me find him quickly. Multicast Varian. Okay, so Taunt, he gets a, in regular, a general health boost and a health regen, so making him more tanky in general, so losing the extra health boost isn't such a big deal, especially just they're nerfing that, 30% health reduction, but then they're not buffing any of the others, basically they're making Varian, who's all, I don't like, I don't agree with this, they're making Varian, who was already slightly less often picked, they're now nerfing the one build he was picked with as opposed to buffing the other two. Aren't I don't it? agree with that at all. Let's see. Uh, just wondering if you look at the health. 2150 times 1. 1.4 is 3010. 2322 mm -hmm. times 1. 1.3 is 3020. So actually... Okay, so it doesn't even pan out to be a health nerf for Taunt. Oh. Taunt is literally 0.03% uh, better than it was. I guess, let's say no change. So, th so they've done nothing. <laughs> so Taunt Why? didn't change, but that means when you don't take Taunt, you're better off. Okay, all right. So I, I, that's that's well thought out then. Twin Blades and, uh, and, and Colossus Smash are going to be more survivable than they were. With uh, okay. about 8% health nerf, uh, health buff in general. So, And also to help out with Twin Blades, the uh, Warbringer has now increased the... Uh, now has even more cooldown reduction for Warbringer. Okay, so you go from... Uh, uh, what's his base cooldown on the charge? Uh, I think it's 12. Let's see, I thought so too. Okay, so it's 12. So he goes from 12 to what? To 4? Uh, 12 to 4, yes. Wow. 
So no but longer it doesn't the... have the extra slow anymore, so it's just a little just a, chase ability now. It was a small deal anyway, right? 75 to 85, yeah. but now you can do it every four seconds. Good for Taunt. Uh, however, WWW now... build has been the prevalent one. Parry, and some yeah. people call it. Parry variant. We do have a Juggernaut, though, getting slightly nerfed. And that's a good point, considering that he would be able to do 5% of every hero of a hero's health every four seconds. Oh, yeah. So it said it's 4%, which is slightly more reasonable. Oh, by the way, I made one mistake with Bigger AR. The threshold for Bigger AR has been uh, yeah. lowered, so it is a buff. It's a burst healed now. Well, it's, it's, it's a buff because they can bring someone to 35 instead of 40%. Good point. Yeah. Which is fair enough. Uh, let's hmm. see. Murky. What did they do with Murky? Oh, I haven't, looked, I haven't actually looked at this, so I'm looking forward Bonus to see. Bonus damage. Cooldown. Egg up buff. Yeah. Wow. It's already <laughs> so good. And Fisheye, yeah. three hundred percent vision. I wow. personally think that Fisheye is probably one of the worst talents in the game. Yeah, because you don't want to use your main egg usually, but because well, no, you I, don't I, see it's anyone... along the lines of what's the one thing you don't want the enemy heroes to do as Murky? The answer is find your egg. Yeah, but what the thing does is, Fisheye do it gives you a giant red eye above your head whenever oh, you're near true. the egg. That's true. <laughs> but that, this is the fix, isn't it? Three hundred percent bonus vision. You yeah, can so see now people it's a bit coming. Harder to find it. Yeah, you can see them coming for miles. It's harder to to triangulate it, to locate it, and it reveals yeah. stealthies. Yeah. So, so by it, the time it is you better see now, it's now no longer the worst talent in the game. Yeah, by the time you see them coming, you can replace your egg somewhere else. I think it's huge, actually. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Still prefer egg hunt, but now fish eye is no longer terrible, so I like that. I uh, tougher agree. fish. Even more burst damage, so we might actually see the return of uh, of Octo Grab Murky now that it actually does damage. Um, Wrath of when... Cold. So some puffer fish talents across the board have been buffed. Fish tank armor duration increased. That one's already pretty good. So yeah. Murky buffs. Right, be careful with that, Blizzard. I, I, I don't mind Murky being in the meta as long as he's used effectively. I have no issue with this. He's like, just because he is made as sort of a fun hero, he, just because he's a murloc doesn't mean he shouldn't have a place in the meta. I believe that's the case of all heroes. That's a uh, very race equality of you. Uh, <laughs> Probius gets some buffs. Let's take a look at what they did with Probius. We are, by the way, in the lobby now, so we are going to jump into the tournament as soon as everyone is ready. Uh, but yeah. just looking at this, Worker Rush cooldown reduction activates in the Hall of Storms. Cool. Pylon uh, cooldown buff. We're left off at Probius and we'll continue there. Worker Rush, the interruptible mount speed. Uh, the interrupt interruptible thrusters, let's say, if he takes damage. Now 30 seconds. Pylon with a 12 second cooldown instead of 14. Warp Rift, bigger range, bigger slow. Wow, that's pretty good. Photon Cannon, more damage. More than 10% more. More than uh, eight, about eighteen percent duration increase. No get, no gate range increase twelve percent and a cooldown reduction as well. Wow, there's pretty solid buffs around the board, across Maybe the board. May see some Probius in pro play. That would be intriguing. Turbocharged was from forty to twenty. Now it's from thirty to twenty. It was also the best at the tier, so that maybe gives more balance to the level 4 talents. Aggressive Matrix. Uh, okay, so this was every, every ally's damage inside the Pro Probius Pylon power field is higher. They've buffed that. The shield was the most popular one, and I think the best. They've decreased the shield amount by 13%, so I think it was... Uh, you, at level 13, you would get about a 200 plus point shield after the full duration. A little bit less. Maybe it will be just about 200. Interference was the warp rift that explodes on enemy heroes. Does an ability power reduction. Instead of 3, that's going to be a 5 second duration. That's good. With the bigger radius on warp rift, that's going to be very impactful. Quantum entanglement was the increased slow uh oh it's the slow persisting after leaving a warp rift 
for another three and a half seconds, whatever slow you had when you were in it would still persist with you. And that has been reduced by half a second. So they haven't touched this Q, build or talent, but they've made warp rift, pylon and cannon better. They've made thrusters better. Shield a bit worse was the most popular and various other things better. I would say I'm almost certain he, he's pro play viable now. And he's definitely hero league viable. Hurrah. So we, I think we got all the way through him. Yeah, bonus life leech from Colors Embrace. Uh, and he, he also now has a talent called Shield Battery because we need two heroes with uh, talents with the same name now. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, give an untalented shield to everyone around you. It's kind of like oh. Storm Shield, except even being untalented, it will still have that life leech because that's part of his base kit. So... It's kind of like a storm shield and bloodlust in one. Not quite, but some elements of each. Yeah, gives a little bit of extra protection. Uh, moving on to Arthas. His physical armor goes from 15 to 10. It's a pretty big deal. And his remorseless yeah. winter route goes down by half a second. It's where if you stay inside his frozen tempest for three seconds, you get rooted. To be honest, I can't believe that it's actually 175 now. Yeah, it's, it doesn't feel that much, but it's still in no It feels it when you're hit by it, but it doesn't feel that way when you do it to someone else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I think there are small enough bands, uh, I mean nurse, to keep Arthas relevant and, in fact, very powerful. But they're still merited because of his general popularity and effectiveness. Um, very good. I think very big thumbs up to the balance team here for keeping it small, keeping Arthas fun, but still tempering yeah. his uh, power a little bit. No changes. This excites me. Yeah, Gaul had a few buffs, small damage buffs, few utility, and here we go with Cho. I don't know why they don't keep them together. I guess they're a different category. But here we go. Uh, Cho gets um, about 8% auto attack bonus damage. Which is good because the auto attack build is, I think, the more standard one on him at the moment with the extra attack speed, Hammer of Twilight. I think it was always uh... the best, and it still is because he's such a bruiser. I, d I disagree. I was always a fan of the dash builds uh, back Ugh. in the old style, but no one else agreed with me, so well, that's just a uh, Tetra alternative meta. The dash build, I think, was good if he was, um, let's say, the, the solo initiation. No other warriors, maybe double yep. support. Combine or... that with, a twi with a, not Twilight Dream, uh, Twisting Never. Yeah, he could sure. could really be a good solo engager. But... but when you have a tank... I generally liked him as a bruiser, but anyway, uh, his basic attacks are also going to apply and refresh Consuming Blaze, the self-healing talent. Wow, that's that's a lot of sustain he's going to yeah. have there. <laughs> that makes his auto attack build even better. Uh, healing amount goes up but quite a lot. 33%. Basic attacks reapplication on heroes now extends to all targets currently affected by Consuming Blaze. So, a buff. Uh, upheaval awesome. damage increase, 75% damage increase. Nice. Yeah. Fuel for Pretty the flame. Uh, buffing on the healing talents. All right. uh, fuel for the flame. And level 13. Heroic cooldown per basic attack increased. So, wow. that I believe that reduces the cooldown of Gaul's heroic, or is that both of them? Let me check that quickly. Uh, should be both. I believe it's both. 13. Uh, Rune Gauntlet. Basic attacks reduce the cooldown of Cho and Gaul's heroics. Wow. That's awesome. That's a really good ability. Uh, so, Cho'Gal gets a bit of buffs, could be viable, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Leoric, more basic attack damage, but quite a decent amount, that's going to help him wave clear, because Leoric used to be a monster wave clear, and then he became and not quite so monstrous. And it's got a swing buff to even answer that as well, good lord. Okay, so maybe instead oh God, of like... And a, and a level 60 renewed swing. Because Leoric, as much as he's known as a wave clearer, he actually clears below average speed. It takes him 9 seconds, or 9 to 10 seconds right now. And with this, I think he can do it in 8. So that makes him average to decent. Yeah, he has Pretty the double good. swing again. It's sort of like he's just been restored to his former glory, almost, mm. in terms of the pushing not, potential. Not quite, but definitely. Yeah, because <laughs> so he used to have 100% on the double swing, and uh, just the swing did way more damage. Developer comments, all shall suffer. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and then bug fixes. Uh, 2016 and 2017. That's great. Yeah, 2016 and 2017. Zara oh. should be unbanned again next open division unless he develops another bug because this is now okay. Excellent. Mm. Uh, Core Hellfall Towers of Doom, yes! 
Never again. No more percentages for Tower of Doom HP. Good. We don't have to do maths. Oh, no more 0.1 second cooldowns in Observer UI for heroics. I've done programming for long enough, in my opinion. Oh, they could be coming for me as an attempt to make a combat. Okay, I see them, it's okay. Greetings, friend. Useful Syndra is useful. Oh. 